اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to use ChatGPT in order to understand how can we use and interpret the output from his process macro when we conduct mediation analysis, model number 4. Before we do that, let's examine how the influence between two constructs may take an indirect path through a third variable called a mediator. Now what it does is, the mediation analysis helps you explain how an IV can influence a DV through another variable that is called mediator. So what we propose or what we intend to see is that whether the relationship between an IV and DV is indirect or not. Now in these situations, the third variable will intervene on the influence between the two constructs. In testing if mediation or the presence of a mediator in a model, you need to understand some of the terminologies that is direct effect, indirect effect and total effect. Now here is the model that we intend to test. Commitment is our mediator and we want to find out whether the impact of culture that is my IV on performance that is my DV is actually passing through the third variable that is commitment. So what happens is, this is what I want to assess that whether culture influences commitment and then commitment influences performance or whether the impact is just direct without any mediator that is culture is influencing performance directly. Now we want to examine if the construct of culture has an indirect effect through commitment on the construct of organizational performance. Now, Before we move on let's understand a direct effect. A direct effect is simply a direct relationship between an independent variable, in this case x, and a dependent variable, in this case y, in presence of the mediator. So this is the direct effect, when the mediator is present in the equation. So you are testing the relationship between x and y in presence of the mediator in the model. Then the relationship between x and y is referred to as direct, represented by c complement. And indirect effect is the relationship that flows from independent variable, in this case x, to the mediator, in this case m, and then to the dependent variable y. So you calculate it by multiplying a with b. And finally, the total effect is actually the combined influence of direct effect, that is c, and the indirect effect, that is a multiplied by b. So here is the formula for total effect. Now here is the model that we will be running in this particular example using and interpreting the results using chat GPT. So I've got one IV, one DV and one M, although you can have a multiple M's or mediators as well. Now how to run it? Let's first run it. So we go to SPSS, Analyze, Regression, Process, Andrew F. Hayes. Now my DV is organizational performance, here it is, and IV is culture, and mediator is commitment, it's a model number 4 for mediation, and let's go to options, and let's have standardized effects, let's have total effects as well. For now, everything seems fine. Just press continue and press OK. And let's see our results. Now here are my results. So make sure you have selected the right model, the right DV, the right IV and the right mediator. The sample size is fine. Now outcome variable commitment but my outcome variable is not commitment it's actually OP. Now when running the mediation analysis what the software does is now since commitment is being influenced by another variable it is also an outcome variable. Performance is an outcome variable too because it is being influenced by commitment and culture. Let's come back here. So for now I'm going to copy this whole 
result into word so i can copy individual sections and ask chat gpt for interpretation as well paste it here go up okay so i'm just going to remove the mm, unnecessary bits here let's remove this so outcome variable is commitment this is the model summary this is the model now in this case when your outcome variable is commitment your independent variable is culture this is one regression so multiple regression analysis are being done here with this model so this is one regression between culture and commitment and what are the results here are the results let's have a look so the r value that is the correlation between culture and commitment is 0.609 now this is r which is the correlation between culture and commitment this is r square so if you take the square of r you get this 0 0.3708 now if you multiply it with 100 you get around 37.08 percentage that is 37.08 percent or let's say 37 percent change in the outcome variable is being explained by culture because that's the only iv in this case now is it significant yes the model is significant now is the influence of culture on commitment significant yes it is significant because the p-value is less than 0.05 the t statistics is greater than 1.96 the coefficient is good as well look at this now moving on we've got another outcome variable op that is being influenced by two variables here culture and commitment again this is r r square the interpretation doesn't change r square 43.13 so if you multiply it with 100 you get 43.13 percent change in op is being explained by these two variables now and are these two significant yes both of them are significant because the p-value is less than 0 0.05 and look at this there is no zero in between the lower level and upper level here again no zero in between the two values so both of them are significant that is culture and commitment have a significant impact on op now this is the total effect sum of direct and indirect effect so the total effect of culture on op is this but i'm not interested in this for now i'm interested in the indirect effect this is what i'm interested in here because i want to find out whether culture affects organizational performance through commitment or not now in this case the indirect effect is this that is a multiplied by b so where is your a a is from culture to commitment so where is culture to commitment here it is culture to commitment 0 0.6041 and commitment to op here it is 0 0.4530 so let's multiply both of them so it is 0 0.6041 multiply by 0 0.4530 and the result is 0 0.2736 is this the indirect effect here it is 0.2736 is it significant yes it is significant because look at the lower level and look at the upper level there is no zero in between the two values this shows that the results are significant now i'm going to ask ChatGPT to help me interpret these results now again i've been emphasizing on this again and again that you cannot just copy and paste all these results and give it to chat gpt and maybe whatever it gives you i don't know whether it can be trusted or not because there's there are too many statistics and obviously they are not in the pro form of proper table so once you convert it in proper form yes ask chat gpt for help now let's say what i do is i ran mediation analysis using his process macro provide me the interpretation and write up in APA style for the following mediation analysis results. So IV is culture, mediator is commitment, dependent is performance let's call it independent
let's say impact of culture on commitment so let's provide the impact here it is culture on commitment so the coefficient is this and p-value is 0 0.000 okay so culture is your IV and commitment is your mediator now let's call put in the impact of commitment on OP that is your mediator on performance So what is the coefficient so commitment on performance 0 0.4530 4530 p-value is 0 0.000 now direct effect of culture on performance so what was the direct effect let's look at the direct effect here is the direct effect culture on performance in presence of the mediator commitment so 0.2917 indirect effect of culture on performance through commitment let's see here it is where is indirect effect here it is so the effect is let me copy from the word document here it is much easier Okay, now let's see what we get. Enter. Now look at this. The direct effect was significant. The indirect effect was significant as well. So it was partial mediation. So when both direct effect, that is the effect of culture on performance was significant. The indirect effect was significant as well. So it's partial mediation. So this is how I used chat GPT after running mediation analysis, give ChatGPT the summary of results. Now, this is where you use AI with proper knowledge. Do not just give ChatGPT all the results. Let's try that as well. But again, in order to have meaningful output, interpretation, representation, this is how you use ChatGPT. So I just gave the relevant results because I knew that these are the relevant results. How do I know? Because you have to learn, you have to read. The more you read, the more you understand these things and then use these tools intelligently. Now let me give ChatGPT all these results and let's see what we get. Let me copy. Following are the mediation analysis results from his process macro. Can you interpret and report in APA style? Now again, the problem is that even if it gives us those results and if we do not understand the concept of mediation, then the whole point of research is useless. So you should learn what these concepts are, how they are interpreted and then use ChatGPT maybe to save your time. And now let's see what we get. Okay, let's enter. Here are the results and let's see. Mediating role of commitment in the relationship between this and this. Yeah, that's it. This is fine. These are the measures. Results. So culture on commitment was significant. Then commitment on performance was significant as well. This is uh, when examining the total effect of culture on performance considering now it's giving too many details.
So you can interpret results like this, but I'm not in favor of using ChatGPT to do your work. The more you learn, the more you will be able to advance your research in a proper manner. So again, re-emphasizing it, use it, but with proper knowledge. I hope this session would have helped you understand the concept of mediation, how to use his process macro for mediation and further how to use ChatGPT to interpret your results. Thank you very much.